Do you want to know how to hit that powerful smash with your backhand? This can be quite difficult for many people. And today, I will help you develop one of the hardest shots to perform in badminton. Hi, I'm Coach Kenny Asuncion and welcome to Badminton ABCs, where I teach you how to level up your game and all things badminton. So do hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. The badminton backhand smash needs a lot of power to be executed properly. A lot of players have a hard time generating that power. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our viewer from France with the channel name Be The Best for requesting this topic. If you hit a backhand smash successfully, you will possibly catch your opponent off guard and force a weak return. Hi, in this video, I will be discussing the backhand smash. Okay, so the grip is very, very important. In my previous video, I've discussed how you should, you should grip your racket when hitting a backhand clear. It's pretty much the same with a backhand smash. But to recap, okay, when you hit a backhand smash, your thumb goes up to the edge, only to the edge, okay? Not to the flat surface. The flat surface is only for low backhand shots. But if you're doing a clear or a smash, you have to quickly put up your thumb slightly on the edge and then immediately go for the smash, okay? So again, I'd like to stress that you have to go close to the shuttle. If you're too far away from the shuttle, the quality of your smash won't be as good, okay? Um, you might actually even miss it or hit it to the net. So, you're slightly late, that's why you're hitting it with a backhand, but you also want to deceive your opponent. So, you immediately turn, run, go close, and swing. Swing it and push with your wrist and smash it. It's not as easy as it seems because it takes a lot of practice. You need to practice this backhand smash as often as you can because timing is key. Very, very important is timing, okay? So, depends where you want to take the shuttle. It can be slightly higher, it can be slightly lower, but because it's a deceiving shot, your opponent shouldn't know that you're actually smashing, okay? So, go close, swing. Okay, now, you will notice that as I run close to the shuttle, my arm, everything, the fingers, they're all relaxed. Okay, upon hitting, I use that force. Okay, but also do take note that when you do that backhand smash, not to swing too big. Because if you swing too big, shuttle keeps coming down. And your opponent will see your shot coming already. So as soon as you can, get it quickly. Press it down, smash it, okay? So again, turn, go close to the shuttle. Now if the shuttle is close to you, maybe you can just turn this way, hit it, okay? But usually the, the backhand shot is slightly far from you, so you go close, swing, smash it. In this video, Carlo Remo will be demonstrating the backhand smash. So we are doing the slow motion of how he does his backhand smash. Notice, he looks at the shuttle, turns towards that direction, and then actually goes for it. Notice that the arm is very relaxed, body is relaxed as well. Upon hitting, that's when the force comes out. So you have to go close to the shuttle in order for you to maximize your strength. If you're too far away from your, the shuttle, it's hard to hit it as strong. So here you will see another demonstration by Enrico Chioni. The shuttle now is slightly farther onto the corner. You will notice, he, again, he looks up and does his backhand smash. So, 
how high you will take the shuttle depends on what's comfortable for you. As long as it's not too close to the body, that it restricts your movement, and it's not too far away from you, that you're overstretched, then you should be fine. Okay, one, one of the drills that you can do is have someone serve it to you. So in this case, I'm serving the shuttle at one spot for Carlo to practice. Now, the common question for everyone is that, how do I strengthen that smash? Well, it's really through practice. So what's important is for you to be able to hit it as comfortable as possible. Consistently hitting the shot without missing it. So at, at another angle, this is how it looks when Carlo does the backhand smash. Okay, and you can be specific. You can ask the player to just smash it to one side. Straight. Straight is, of course, the first thing that you practice. The straight smashes. So Carlo is demonstrating it in a very relaxed manner. Sort of like walking to the shot. And even going back is very relaxed. But of course, in the real game, it will be faster. But it's still with the same concept, same movement. It's as though it, as you're walking to the shuttle. Okay, so Enrico Chioni now demonstrates it at a faster pace. Smashing straight and cross. So doing an alternate of a straight and a cross smash. Again, it's just the face of your racket that will change. Of course, if you want it to go straight, face of your racket should attack it straight. If you want it cross, then the face of your racket should go and face the cross side of the court. So this is slightly a faster movement. Now, Kyoni always goes back to the middle. Why? I always tell the players when you practice to go back to the middle to kind of simulate that movement. You have to have a movement because, okay, you will start with one spot and then you will get it. You will be able to feel the shuttle. But then when you're moving around, again, it feels different. So you have to constantly move and go back to the backhand. So this is a simple way of doing that drill. Not too easy, but not too hard. Very relaxed. Hitting it at a comfortable spot. Always having the dominant leg go out as you execute your backhand smash. Wherever the shuttle is, you have to go close. So there will be shots that it's farther back to the corner or there will be shots that's not too far away from the middle. So it, what's important is look at where the shuttle is and go for it. Again, strength comes through practice. So you have to keep practicing it if you want your backhand smashes to get stronger. Now, Carlo here is demonstrating another drill. So this drill, what I do is I serve it to him at any spot. One spot somewhere else, then next spot to his backhand for him to use his backhand smash. One in front, one to the backhand smash. One to his forehand side, another back to his backhand smash. So this is a good, you know, drill, a good multi-shuttle drill for you to practice moving around while doing that backhand smash. You can see that Carlo is in a very relaxed manner. Do tell me if you've executed your backhand smash successfully on the comments section below. 
And if you want to know more about the backhand clear, click on the video on your screen. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, level up your game, and be the next smashing success.